Hello everyone, Shit Taste here, and welcome to an Eyes of Heaven live battle. This is going to be a part two to the original JoJo Bros video. If you guys missed that, there will be a card on the top right where you can check that out. But I made a video talking about Joe Bros, and I did not include Gyro Zapelli. And this left people absolutely befuddled. And even under the impression that I don't like Gyro, but that's totally not the case. So let's just get into it. For me personally, going to be playing as Gyro, and we're going to throw him in his Executioner's outfit. Um, because this is young gyro. This is gyro that gets pussy. This is the best gyro So for his teammate, we're gonna be putting him in his uh, part one phantom blood counterpart William and uh, people are also asking for Polnareff another top tier very top tier Joe bro So we'll go with him as well And we already have Caesar and William or we already have gyro and William so we'll throw Caesar in there as well But all the all the Zapelli's in one vid So we'll just go his normal outfit for the stage, we'll be taking it to Battle Tendency. So, Gyro Zeppeli, I just want to clear it up and make sure everyone knows that I don't hate Gyro. I don't hate him at all. He's actually one of my favorite characters and my second favorite Joe Bro, just behind Buccellati. I don't know what it is about Buccellati, but I just really enjoy his character and I really enjoy the role he plays in Part 5. And uh, I think a big part of it's his stand because Sticky Fingers is literally the definition of badass. If you look up badass in the dictionary, at least the 2013 Webster edition, you will find a picture of Sticky Fingers in there alongside Buccellati. So, back on to Gyro. Um, definitely one of my favorite characters. Uh, Gyro is just a character that is hard to dislike, you know, unless you're hot pants, but Gyro's a likable character. From start to finish, you enjoy Gyro. From the moment you meet him, there's really no reason why you shouldn't love this character. Obviously, people have opinions and reasons, but, I mean, I enjoy Gyro from start to finish. One of my favorite chapters with Gyro was actually not a fight or anything. Um, it was a flashback to younger Gyro. And he, uh, you know, the Zeppeli family in uh, Part 7, Steel Ball Run, they were secretly executioners. And their main profession, their public profession, was doctor. You know, they healed people and everything. And um, Gyro was, um, he had a girl inside, like, the hospital bed with him. And uh, he heard his dad coming up that was like, gonna come catch him with a girl or something. So what Gyro did is that he used the rotation to turn this girl that he was baning skin, like really old and wrinkly to make it look like he was taking care of a patient. And his dad walked in and was like, oh Gyro, you're just taking care of a patient, okay. And then his dad leaves and then he's like, all right, back to fucking. And then the girl's like, don't you ever do that to me again. But you know secretly she wanted to use those steel balls as some sort of sex toy. And I'm sure Gyro would have done that. Gyro's a freak. I don't know, Gyro's just a great character. Great character. I'm gonna hit uh, Caesar here with a dual heart attack combo, and we'll get some ball breaker action. Sometime here, if I can get a combo off on him. Ball breaker, damn cool stand. That was one thing that was very unique about Jaro and I really enjoyed. In the Ringo Road again fight, which was pretty early in Steel Ball Run, kind of almost, yeah, it was really early in Steel Ball Run, um, we saw a glimpse of ball breaker and I was like, all right, sweet, where Jaro's stand's gonna get introduced because it was alongside the Steel Ball, so I would just uh, associated the Steel Ball with ball breaker and Jaro's stand. I was like, all right, cool, we're gonna get a stand. And then I totally almost forgot about ball breaker. So many volumes and chapters went by. And I thought that was really interesting how Araki showed us a preview of Gyro's stand and never even introduced it again until the funny Valentine fight. I thought that was really unique. And, um, I mean, for most of Steel Ball Run, Gyro didn't have a stand. He just used Steel Balls. And, you know, arguably Steel Balls can be, are most of the time, better than most of the stands in Steel Ball Run. But I don't know. Ball Breaker is still pretty cool. Some people will argue that it's actually just a manifest of the infinite rotation. Or not the, just like the, the strength of the steel balls. It's kind of a manifest of it, but no, it's, it's, it's definitely a stand. And once I get on Valkyrie here, we'll take care of Caesar and kill him. Gyro's a really strong character in this game too. 
Or I think I just know how to play as him pretty well. I'm pretty familiar with him. So I can get through these battles pretty quick with him. Hit him with some sort of spin hurricane here to finish off Shija. Come on, Caesar, step into it. We got him in my corner right now. Whatever, William finished him off. So there it is, guys. I don't hate Gyro. He's one of my favorite Joe Bros. And you finally got Gyro for a video. There you go. Um, I will do another Joe Bro. I'm sure there's more to play as in this game. So let me know what Joe Bros you want to see next in the next part. So drop a like on this video if I occupied your boredom for a little bit. Or if you just enjoyed. And also subscribe for more JoJo videos. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. How are we hanging? The kid that our souls are singing As we dance in the night Remember How the stars fall the night away